Hello agents, in this video I'm going to show you the hidden room which is inside the Space Administration HQ mission on the Division 2. Um, it's a bit of a tricky one to get into and if you do know about this hidden room and you've been trying it, I've actually got four codes for you. So uh, I only had the two to begin with, thank you Penny for the other two and one of them worked, I'll get into that in a bit. For now this is the room which you can see me struggling to get into. Here's another warning, it is glitch, like um, once you've opened it there's a chance that you might not be able to get through it which is a real pain. Um, Ellen, who's inside right now, did get stuck, but she was able to get in the end. Get Gavin got in right away. Uh, big shout out to them, by the way, for helping me with this. They brought this to me when I recorded this yesterday. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't get in. At the end, I'll show you what's inside the room as Ellen did take some screenshots. Uh, we'll get into the video now. Before I do, hit, please hit like if you like this video, and also check the video description out for a link to a community where uh, you'll find a lot of Division agents which are very willing to help and hook up, so do go and check it out. And also links to more of my content. Content. Hit subscribe for more content if you like what you see guys. So as I said, just start the Space Administration HQ mission. It doesn't matter what difficulty it's on, it can also be story. And you want to get up to this point here. So it's when you're going up through the uh, stairs on the levels, there's level 1, 2 and 3. As you reach 3, just follow my route and you're going to want to interact with this computer. Okay, hopefully this goes green. It'd be nice if it does. Yeah, it's just gone green. Okay, and it says input code. Answer. Now from this location here where you just hit interacted with that computer, just follow this route over to this printer. You're going to want to uh, interact with the printer and it's going to give you a printout. Now this is how you get the code uh, which you need to use for the puzzle later. So um, yeah, I don't think you actually need to do this. Uh, but this is how you get the code. Now I'll print out a sheet of paper and if you zoom in on it like I'm about to, you'll see like a four digit code. It's a little bit dark here I can see on screen so you may not be able to see that. On your screen you will. There are about, I'm going to say, three other printers in the area that you can interact with. And it'll do the same thing. It'll give you a printout and, and it'll have a code on. We only found two, but Penny texted me there was two more. And there's four different codes you could use. Now, we used a code that we didn't do a printout for. So as long as, I, I don't think you need to hit a printer, but as long as you at least hit one and do as I've done in this video, you'll be fine. Now just continue on with the mission um, and get to this location here. This is where you like turn the satellites or you defend A, B and C. After that section you're going to go down this elevator shaft and at the bottom just take a left and that's where the hidden room is. Now uh, you can know by hitting the computer we hit that enabled you to hit this uh, input code here and that opens this door. Now with the printouts that we did that gives you the codes for this puzzle that you're faced with. Now you've got four computers there's number one and you can tell it's number one with the one item on the desk number two is there and it's got two items on the desk three is there with three items on the desk and then the fourth computer is there with the number four on that notepad so that's your order one two three and four now the codes that you find are four digit codes i'm going to show you three of them now now one of them it starts with three and then it goes one two three so you can try that code that is on one of the printouts so try three one two three if that does not work there is then another code It didn't work. We found another printout with the code 1224 on. So this is the code we tried this time. As you can see, I just did 1. This is 2. I'm going to do 2 again and then finish off with 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's quite a few. Absolutely nothing. Ugh. Now we're starting to get a bit frustrated at this point. We found the two printouts, none of the codes worked. So I was texting Penny, who has a whole brain of information. So a shout out for Penny for this, Mrs. Donkey Punch. And she said that there was more printouts that we could go and find and they had different codes on. And the different codes that they had were 2122 and 2222. And while we're discussing that, Gavin just hits the 2122 in and the door opens for us. So they're the four codes you can try, guys. It is uh, 3123. 
Um, if not that, it is one, two, two, four. If that one doesn't work for you, try two, one, two, two. And if that one doesn't work for you, try two, 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 two. They're the four codes that we have, and one of them should work. And I don't think you even need to uh, check out the printouts. We did find the printouts for the first two that we tried, which is seen in this clip, but we didn't find the other printouts, and it still worked for us. Should an IB? One. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, because it doesn't matter. No, not really. I'll do 2-2. Two, two. Oh, gosh. Well, I've never <laughs> seen anything else printed up, so I don't know why like, it'd always be the... Yeah, it yeah, one, two, two. Did... What's that code, then? So where was that code? Because we'll have to that means that... that. Yeah, but it means we need to print them off, and it's just there's going to be four different codes. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that to work. No, yeah, neither was I. <laughs> We need to find out where the other printers are that print those codes off then. And as I mentioned at the start, the door is very glitchy. You'll be lucky if you get in, if it's anything like me. I could not get in, but um, Ellen sent me these screenshots. So this is what's inside there. You've got this turtle uh, with an elephant on top. I'm not too sure what it is, but Penny did send me more information. It is the World Turtle. So the World Turtle, also referred to as the Cosmic Turtle of the World Bearing Turtle. Sorry, all the world bearing turtle is a myth theme of a giant turtle supporting or containing the world. The myth theme, which is similar to that of the world elephant and world serpent, or serpent, sorry, occurs in Hindu mythology. There's loads more to read about. Google it if you want to know more. Uh, but the, this is what's inside that room. There's nothing else to like collect or anything. Uh, it's just really cool. It's like an Easter egg, guys. So go and check that out for yourselves. I hope the door doesn't glitch. And again, if this video has helped, please hit like. Check out the description for our community link and for more content and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this and until the next video peace out